Oh, hello. Today, we're going to take a look at the comic book series, Lenore. Published by Slave Labor Graphics, which you might know for Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, or Squeed. Which are written by Invader Zim creator, Jonan Vasquez. But here, I'm going to talk about the underrated classic Lenore. Which is written and drawn beautifully by Roman Dirge. So let's take a look. Here's a first issue. Well, not the first, but the first one I had. Number four. So as you can see, it's a black and white comic. Very typical for, you know, 90s issues and Slayer graphics. And here we have Mr. Gosh, which you probably know because you might have seen the online adaption animated series, which takes from uh, the best Lenore comics and puts them into crudely animated form. But the thing is, in the anime series, the artwork looks much better. As you can see here, it looks pretty crude. But the artwork gets much better as the series goes along. And typical for Slaver graphics comics is you have these little bumper random things in between, which are quite funny, but, you know, not really focusing on what we really want, which is Lenore. Use taxidermy. And there's not much to say about the story of Lenore. Uh, it's really about a living dead zombie girl who's living in a huge mansion pretty much by herself. Despite having a few friends there. And she gets into wild crazy antics due to her immaturity and stuff. Uh, here's a very funny comic. Hey Lenore, wanna play a leapfrog? Okie dokie. And they jump and they jump and they jump and they jump and bzzz into the wood chipper. <laughs> now that's just a little tidbit of Lenore's humor. It's kinda like Tim Burton. You know, it's dark, but it's very immature and silly. And yeah, you know, just like Tim Burton. And so here's some several other issues. There's Fufu Bunny Lenore. There's all her friends, Mr. Gosh, Taxidermy, Ragamuffin my man, and what's the Hampton's name again? I don't know. Oh, random rat thing and a crow? Ah, oh, well, there's Lenore. The thing I love about these is the cover art. They're very beautifully drawn. And here's an example of me saying uh, the artwork looking better way later in the series. It looks less crude and it's more shaded, more detailed. It looks very nice, but yeah, the first five issues don't look that good. And there's Ragamuffin and Nurse Lenore or whatever. I haven't read that issue. Oh, here's one of my favorites. The one where Ragamuffin finally becomes a vampire again. It's pretty funny and very worth reading. And it's the only one where Lenore pretty much has sympathy for Mr. Gosh. Which you'll see if you read it yourself. And the series just recently had a reboot, which is da 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 in color. And with more storyline, with this one telling the story how Lenore got reborn as the living dead. You can find these at your local comic book shop. They shouldn't be that hard to find, since they're pretty new. Now another thing is that Lenore is out of print, at least the original series. So if you want to read it, you're going to have to get the graphic novel completions, which are in color and glossy. Ooh. An interesting thing is, Lenore originally appeared in the fourth and final issue of Squee. Which was kind of a promotional thing, I guess. To promote Roman Dirge getting his own series. And here it is. Lenore's very first appearance. The Peeps. Yeah. Not much, but, you know, it started the series off. Very nice thing of Jonah Vasquez to do. Hmm. So yeah, that is Lenore. To recommend to somebody, I say you have to like Tim Burton films or Invader Zim. That kind of childish, immature, but dark, mature feel to it. You know, dark, silly humor. That's how I put it. Yeah. So, pick them up if you see them. I recommend the color graphic novels. You know, it's just, you get more for your buck. So, yeah. Go read them.